Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, February 4th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want to get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. And The link is down below, and you're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, but first... Just look at what happened today. Yesterday was a very, very bullish day. It was all green and so was it on Monday. However, today we had a change here. So some companies did do really well. Microsoft did well um, and so did Google. Uh, Google is up nearly 10% and uh, that is a fantastic uh, because of basically their massive, massive earnings in this period of the coronavirus. So it's basically Google that is keeping this market up. We were expecting a pullback um, in this market due to the fact that we have been rallying significantly. We did pull back towards this channel, found resistance there. Um, however, we continued to rally. Um, I was hoping for a pullback towards the 20 exponential, roughly 3,800, and then continue to rally. But this channel here is holding very nicely. And at this point, we may go towards the top of the channel. However, I do expect um, quite a lot of choppiness. And um, I would also expect a pullback towards 3,800. But let's see what basically happens. We're not that far away from 3,800. We're trading at 3,845 at this current stage. So if you look at technical indicators for the S&P 500, you can see that they are all turning around. Not all are bullish. Um, CCI is flat, RSI is also flat, MACD is turning around, going to cross the signal line here. If that uh, is going to be the case, then we will have another bullish run all the way to the top here. And you can look at the stochastic, that is also looking very bullish at this point. We uh, are trading just above the middle here of the Bollinger Band, not that far away from the top. Top here is at uh, 3,884. So uh, we don't, uh, it will not be that big of a rally until we find major resist resistance here. Just see what happens when the last time we got outside of the Bullinger Band, we went all the way back towards the middle here, and that's a drop off uh, roughly, roughly to 1.84%. So the same goes for here. We fell all the way down to the very bottom, a drop of roughly 4%. So usually when we get to the top of the Bullinger Band or pierce the top of the Bullinger Band, that usually has a sell-off towards the middle of the Bullinger Band or all the way down to the bottom. But we are still in this channel, and as long as that is the case, we will uh, go back and forward from the top to the bottom. Um, so, yes... We'll see what basically happens here. A pullback towards the, the bottom of this, this channel is basically a buying opportunity and your target is roughly at 3,900. Long-term target is 4,000. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones has rallied yet again today. It's looking very nice for the Dow. Um, Long-term target here is 30, 40, uh, 32,000 or 31,500 uh, first and then 32,000. So that is a move of roughly 3.8% from where we are at this moment. We're is looking really good for the Dow Jones. We are just above the 20 exponential. We have pulled back and then rallied and are now trading just above the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are turning around. We are very low here in the in the RSI, and there's a lot of room to the upside. We could actually move all the way to the top of the bullish band here. That's roughly a 31,463, uh, roughly, uh, give or take, almost where the target is at uh, 31,500. And that is a move of 2.27%. Um, so yes, there is a lot of room to the upside. Pullbacks from here, we'll find the 20 exponential being very res uh, res supportive. And so is the 50 moving average right here and the 20 and the 40 exponential moving average as well. MACD is turning around. The RSI is flat. Yes, it is looking like 
we are ready to rally to the upside. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So the Nasdaq has also been rallied from the bottom here of 12,856, where we are at the moment at the 13,540. So a rally of roughly 5.5%, a massive rally in the last, last uh, three trading days. So at this point, we are getting fairly overstretched. We're almost at the top here of the Bollinger Band. We can see also in the RSI, we are at 61 at this point. There's still room to the upside. Technical indicators otherwise for Mac, uh, the Stochastic is bullish, the MACD is bullish, CCI is flat, but a pullback towards the pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average or this channel here, that is at the moment a major buying opportunity. We will most likely go towards the top of the channel and then break towards the middle, roughly 13,200, that is your entry point for a buy. So we are in this channel, it is fairly predictable where we are going when this is the case. Long-term target is 14,000, so yes, just hold on, pullbacks are buying opportunities. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.